we're looking for disturbances in the sand, footprints, or, or whatever it may be. This is the front lines of the immigration battle. Agents near Yuma, Arizona, constantly searching for people illegally crossing the Mexican border, whether in the desert, on the river. Rescue six floor, Roger. I know we're being observed at all time. They know we're here right now. Or along the highway. Just last week, they pulled 29 pounds of methamphetamine from inside the gas tank. The Yuma Sector Border Patrol actually patrols about 126 miles of the United States border, and they patrol all over, including here in the Imperial Sand Dunes in California. It is a wild scene out here, including a floating fence for eight miles. This fence is unique in that a machine makes sure it won't lose height, even if sand builds up around it. Tools like this help agents like David Lines catch those trying to make an illegal run across the border. It, it gives me a sense of accomplishment in trying to keep you know the people out that, that are trying to do our country harm. There are people every day that try to cross. Some of them are, are humble families, but others are people that, that have intentions on, on doing things to our country that obviously we don't want done here. And those with bad intentions consistently come up with creative ways for beating the system. The smugglers are limited only by their imagination. They have unlimited funding and they can, can hide things in, in every part of a vehicle that you could think of. Real life examples include cocaine in an oil pan, heroin in a hay bale, and smuggling people while well, some have been found under wood on a truck or even hiding in a suitcase. That's why highway checkpoints complete with canine heroes are crucial. It's kind of a game. It's kind of a cat and mouse game. You know, they're going to try something today. We're going to try to, to beat that. We're going to go out and we're going to try to, to one up them. And then I know tomorrow, whatever we find today, tomorrow they'll be trying something else. While we've all heard about the massive problems along the Texas border, the Yuma sector is considered one of the most secure in the nation. Just look at the numbers. In 2005, they hit almost 140,000 apprehensions. Today, just over 6,000. So why the drop? Well, money made a huge difference. Under President Bush, Border Patrol spending skyrocketed, going from roughly $4 billion in 2001 to $12 billion in 2008 when he left office. Much of that money went here and translated into triple the number of agents, better technology, and a fence along every mile of this Yuma sector. On the Colorado River, separating Mexico from Arizona, better technology has helped immensely. We also have uh, sensors that allow us to um, that allow us to detect uh, an entry, mm -hmm. and then we go see what's going on. Border towns like San Luis, Arizona, have seen the most progress. No more barbed wire and just a flashlight to keep out illegals. It really comes down to the manpower and the infrastructure. Not only is it the the triple layer fencing, but we also have the stadium lights. We also have the mobile light units because there's areas where we have to be vigilant at all times. Agents quickly point out that a fence won't stop people from trying to get into America. It just makes their job a bit easier. That fence is there as a deterrence. That fence is there to give agents time to respond but it's just another variable that is in that equation. And those creative drug smugglers have dug tunnels to get across. Fortunately, agents have caught on to those operations too. And this was a completed tunnel. It had lights, it had vents for people, and it was most likely going to be used to smuggle in narcotics and illegal drugs. So it's for us, you know, stopping tunnels is just as important in protecting our borders as stopping illegal aliens, criminals, terrorists, and terrorist weapons as well. Nowadays, with added terror threats, agents are on high alert. Homeland Security recently issued a warning that ISIS terrorists are looking to cross the U.S.-Mexican border. Now, while the Border Patrol works to keep out potential terrorists, they must also be mindful of the other force trying to get into America, the families crossing illegally in search of a better life. Many don't make it, dying in the sizzling Sonoran Desert. So agents try to help when they can. And there are beacon sirens. And those beacon sirens can be pushed if those illegals want to give up the fight because safety is always a priority. I'll tell you what I don't want to see. I don't yeah. want to see agents getting hurt. I don't like to see migrants or civilians getting hurt, much less by drowning. All in a day's work for the men and women guarding our borders. Some have died protecting the country they love, 
while politicians in Washington argue about the politics. David Brody, CBN News, in Yuma, Arizona.